Hi everyone, we are live and welcome to the Reading the Old German Handwriting Courses launch. I'm going to give it a few seconds to see if anyone uh, else is going to come in. So go ahead and get settled and then we'll get into a sneak peek of the course as well as answer any questions that you may have. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what we have here today is a sneak peek of the course. We're going to look into the levels one, two, and three. First level is looking at the alphabet of the old German handwriting. And the second level is talking about all that vocabulary that you'll need to know for deciphering your documents. And the third level is practice records. If you already are familiar with the script, but just want someone to tell you if you're right or wrong as you practice, that would be the level for you. So we've had a lot of new subscribers the last couple months. So for those of you who don't know me, I wanted to kind of give you a little, uh, little information about who I am. So I am a German to English genealogy translator. And what that means is that I work with the old German script in documents such as letters, diaries, church records, uh, vital records, pretty much anything and everything. And it's a lot of fun. I love history, so it's been a really fun career for me so far, getting to work with all of your documents. And I do have my master's in German. I did the first year of the master's program in Salzburg, Austria which is a beautiful city, home of the filming locations for Sound of Music. And I then did the second year in Bowling Green, Ohio. So it was an exchange program through Bowling Green State University in Ohio. So that is how I ended up studying German. And I taught myself the old German handwriting. So if you are sitting there today thinking, how in the world can I ever learn it? I have been where you are. I thought the same thing to myself and really couldn't understand how anyone could make out those scribbles. Um, just to give you an idea of uh, what I am talking about, this is a Facebook post that I wrote um, about 10 years ago, I think, um, when a friend had asked me to help translate a German document written in the old German script. And since I love history, I said yes, but I didn't really realize that the script was so different um, as it is nowadays. So I really <laughs> couldn't imagine ever being able to read it and really had to go through a lot of books and internet searches to try to figure things out. However, there are some letters that really do look similar to the letters that um, you and I know today. So I wanted to give you a couple examples of those letters so it doesn't seem quite as overwhelming as you may think. So this letter, the G, as you can see, looks just like our cursive G. So there's one letter that you can read that um, makes it a little bit less daunting. The I also looks like our cursive letter. Um, something to be aware of with the I, however, is that the dot right here is usually a little bit to the right of the letter itself. So it does look like our cursive I, but that dot won't usually be directly above it, more slightly to the right. The L looks just like our cursive L, so there's three letters that you can read already. It's not as scary as you think, as does the O, and that O has that nice little side hook um, that you can use to recognize it. Oops, one more. And then finally, the T. So the T is crossed, the I is dotted, so there are definite letters that look just like our cursive letters. So you don't need to think you need to learn 26 new letters before you can start to read the script. There are some that you already know. So that being said, I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek into what you will learn in this course. As I said before, I taught myself everything. So I made these courses um, trying to think, what did I want to know when I was learning? What would have helped me learn to read the old German script? And what would have helped me, what would have saved me those months and years of frustration of trying to do everything? 
So let's go ahead and take a look. So these are your different options. You'll have how to read the alphabet of the Old German handwriting, recognizing the most important vocabulary in the Old German scripts, deciphering records in German genealogy, or the whole package deal reading the Old German handwriting, which is the course that's been out since February. So these are the normal prices. You do get a launch discount this week, but let's go ahead and look at what you get. So I'm going to show you everything together. This is level one, this is level two, this is level three, and they are all combined into the whole package deal. So I'm going to use that to show you what you can get in each of the levels. So all of the different course options um, have PowerPoint video lessons where I myself actually show you um, how to work with the script and things that you can use to identify the different letters or words. So let's take a look at this one. So if you're doing level one, this will be what you will get, anything that has an A on it. You get a PowerPoint lesson. And you can hear me talking. Just to give you an idea of what it talks about, for each letter, I take you through and tell you the different characteristics, and you'll hear my voice telling you different things, pointing out different aspects of the letter, and kind of giving you an idea of what you can recognize. So I really tried to go through and explain everything in detail and give you different tips and tricks for how to do these things. And then once you're feeling ready um, to kind of do some activities, you have a lot of different choices. You have flashcards. You have flashcards with real life examples from actual genealogy documents. You have quizzes, tests, and then there's also some matching games in here. So let's go ahead and look at the flashcards. I actually made these flashcards because I was at a conference and someone told me, that they would just love to have flashcards of the old German handwriting. That's what they would need to learn. So I really tried to incorporate all different types of learning for people to learn the different handwriting. So you can go back and do those flashcards as often as you like. And um, when you're ready, you can then do the test to see if you've retained all of that information. So that's level one. Level one talks about the vowels, the lowercase consonants, the uppercase consonants, common combinations, all those letters that you'll see together often, and then a little more here, um, different, different uh, actual words that you can use to practice, so different examples from actual genealogy, genealogical documents that you can use to practice. So you get these words to download and print out. And then if we're looking at level two, that's all the vocabulary. So we have the names, the months of the year, the abbreviations, milestone words, occupations, deadly diseases. And then once again, you get practice sections. So we'll go over here. You get different practice sections, reviews. Um, and then let's look at a matching game. So these matching games are kind of fun. Let's do the months. So you can actually match the handwritten word to its typed equivalent to really make sure that your brain is retaining all of this information. And you can go back as often as you like and do any of these games as often as you like. This course is entirely self-paced, so that means that you can do it anytime, anywhere, however you want to do it. And you can try to be other people's in the course personal best times. So that's fun. And then level three is the different records. So here you have all of my tips and tricks. If you've ever heard um, me speak at a conference, I've talked about these tips and tricks a great deal. So they're there for you forever um, to learn the best resources, websites, and everything for deciphering the records. Then you have sections on vital records with me giving you a video lesson on how to decipher each of these. Yeah. 
So we'll go through each of the parts of the form and learn what is what. And then you'll get practice records for yourself. And all of these practice records can be downloaded so you can work with them on your computer or, on, um, or you can print them out and write on them as well. So you have the birth, marriage, death, then you get into church records. So you get um, all church record vocabulary. You get a different uh, video lesson on how to decipher the church records. So you get different words that you need. I'm trying to find a section on the actual, there we go. So we're getting different records and different parts of the records, and we actually go through and I tell you how you can find the words that you're looking for and how to decipher them. So this is one of the lessons um, that I think is the most helpful. I talked about it at uh, Roots Tech a little bit, and it, uh, people seem to find it very helpful. So I think you'll like that. So yes, we have the birth and baptismal, the marriage, and the death. And then once you get all the vital records and uh, church records, um, finish you have all these practice records in each section so you, again you can download them print them out and then once you're ready to check your work you can um, scroll down once it loads it's a little slow with doing the Facebook live but you get the practice record and then you get the solution of the German transcription and the English translation. So you really learn how to decipher it, and then you can check to see if you're right or wrong. And then all of the uh, levels, levels one, two, and three, have lots of additional documents and resources available telling you how to um, decipher your records, letter swaps you need to know, spelling variations, transcription tips. So you have so many resources that you can use. And they all, all have a discussion forum where you can talk with your classmates about anything that's giving you trouble, letters you love, letters you hate, or um, any victories that you've had that you deciphered your ancestor's letter or document. So it's a way to kind of form a genealogy community within the course. So that's what we have. We have levels one, two, and three. So if you're just getting started, that how to read the alphabet of the old German handwriting would likely be best for you. If you're feeling comfortable and you just want to print out a key and try to focus more on the vocabulary, this is the best course for you. And then um, if you want to decipher records, if you already know how to read it but just want practice, level three would be your choice. And if you want the best deal, you can combine all the courses together in this one. So normally, as you saw, the course, the individual courses cost $129, but for the launch, it is only $99 until Friday. So that's $30 off until Friday. Um, but if you do sign up in the next hour, I'm offering an extra special deal where you get a vital record digital template completely free. And that normally costs $25. So it's basically $55 off the course. And what that is, is a birth, marriage, or death certificate cheat sheet. So if you've worked with these type of records, this one here is a birth, you'll know that they're standardized. And if you know what they say, it becomes a lot easier to decipher them. So these digital templates, um, they're so popular at conferences, but what they are is the German transcription and English translation of the form. So if you have the exact translation of this form, it allows it to be a lot easier to translate your ancestor's document. So if you get the course by five o'clock today, I will email your choice of birth, marriage, or death cheat sheet template. So here are the codes. Um, if you want to get one of the smaller courses, level one, two, or three, use code launch99 for the $30 off. Or if you want the whole course, you can use this code here, launch complete. And that makes the entire course, which is normally $319, um, go back to the original launch price from February, $271. And it has not been that cheap since I launched in February. So now's the time to do it. Um, these codes expire on Friday, but if you want the um, extra digital uh, 
digital record, digital vital record template. Make sure to get it in the next hour, and I will send you your choice of the birth, marriage, or death. And um, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments. But while we're waiting and see if any questions come in, I want to go to the frequently asked questions. Let's go, oops. Let's go to this one. And we'll go to the frequently asked questions down here because I did get asked a couple of these questions this morning. So the first question is, when does the course start and finish? There is no start date and there is no finish date. If you buy it this week, you can take advantage of the deal, um, but you can start it a year from now. You have lifetime access to this course. So I didn't want to just make it only available for a couple months because I know some people are busier than others at different times. So you will have access to this course for the rest of your life, um, which answers that question. <laughs> access is unlimited. Do I need any experience with German to take this course? No, you don't. Um, section B is all about German vocabulary, level two. So you will learn a lot of German vocabulary in that section. Um, and of course, with deciphering the records, it's easier um, if you do know some German, but it is absolutely not necessary. But if you do want to learn the vocabulary, I would recommend doing level two. The course would be a big investment for me. Is it worth the price? I really think it is. I tried to make it fun and entertaining and a way to learn. Um, we have over 100 students in the main course so far. Everyone has said that they've learned a lot and has been very satisfied, and it will allow you to stop paying for translations and actually do it yourself. So for me, it's worth it, but you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you try it out and don't think it's for you, because I do want to have happy students. Um, can I download and print out the course materials, or will I only be able to see them on my computer? Most things can be printed out. If it's a vocabulary list, if it's a document, an article, or a practice record, um, those can all be downloaded and printed out for you to keep in your files. Anything that's interactive, so the flashcards or the matching games or the tests, those obviously are just on the computer. So it's um, just depending on what type of um, activity it is, depends if it can be printed out. And then is the course fun? Yes, that was my main goal. Um, I taught English in Austria for a couple years, and I just really noticed that the more fun something was, the more my students retained the information. So I tried to provide so many different activities and um, different styles of learning within the course. Um, so it is fun, and it is something that you enjoy doing um, while you're learning to decipher your ancestors' documents. So that's it. If anyone has any questions, feel free to let me know. You can sign up for the course here at germanhandwriting.teachable.com. Use these codes. And like I said, if you do it in the next hour, you will get the free digital template. So I don't think we have any questions at the moment. But if, I, if you do have one afterwards, just comment on this video and I will come in and answer them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we will talk soon. Bye-bye.